welcome back to Minecraft uh, Season 3, I guess. Um, the new update just came out. 1.20. So, we are doing a little showcase today. We are in our normal world today. Uh, we're not. We didn't, I didn't make a super flat world for this. Um, just because... I think we could just do it in here. I had this little, this little, uh, you know, leaf, like, mat here. And I decided to put some clay walls around it and put some lights in here so we can just do our little showcase in here. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to be showing off all this, or most of the new stuff. I'm going to get through as much as I can. Um, I didn't really, you know, I didn't really look into this update at all until yesterday. So, you can enjoy it in the comfort of our own, you know, Ty uh, taiga forest whatever it's called yeah. old growth spruce taiga <laughs> which is the ones with the uh, the moss you know mossy cobblestone stuff um, um but yes um i guess the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna clear a little bit of a thing here like i do normally everyone we are going to go through this um we're going to go through this through just some of the new, uh, you know, the new items, new blocks and items in the game. And then we're going to go through new mobs and then we're going to go through new, uh, what was it called? And then uh, we're going to go through the new biome that was added. Um, and, and I will, and I will, I have uploaded a separate world into a different slot here into this realm that is a single biome of just that. And, but we'll get there at the end of the video. So, if you go to the crafting table here, and don't worry, we have lights here, so when it turns dark, we have a crafting table here. If you put a copper ingot in the middle, you put a feather above okay. it, and then a stick on the bottom, you now have a brush. And this is for the new archaeology. You can sand. I can sand you. No, I can't. Suspicious sand can be found in the desert temples, desert wells, warm ocean ruins. Those three places you can see these. Do you see how they look different? You can oh. you can sand them. You can brush the suspicious sand to break them, and they'll have stuff like the stuff will come out of it. Um, if you were actually like at a at a place, you know what I mean. And uh, yeah. the same thing with imagine if the, all this was gravel. There's also suspicious gravel. You can oh. also sand. Like that, and it turns into normal gravel or sand afterwards. So this is part of the archaeology up update. So that's what these brushes are for. So suspicious sand, which we did first, can be found in desert temples, desert wells, and warm ocean ruins. Uh, the suspicious gravel can be found in cold ocean ruins and trail ruins, which we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, so these can be difficult to spot, so make sure to keep on the lookout because they can have they can give you like special items. Which we will also get it's into. It's okay. We never, we never go to the desert anyway. I don't think we've even found a desert. Trail ruins. Um, I can't. There's not really any way of showing this, but trail ruins are a buried structure. Um, these, and you know, it's you know, it's actually pretty cool. Is uh, so I'm not gonna show these on camera because I can't spawn the structure here, obviously. But it's mm -hmm. a trail ruins, and they are buried structures that can be found in taigas, which we are in. Oh. Or actually, taigas, snowy taigas, and old growth forest biomes, which is what we live in. So, um, and also can be found in jungles. So here you can find armored trim templates, and we're going to get into those later because that's very uh, complicated. Um, and you can also find a new music disc here that can be oh, really? uh, by brushing away suspicious blocks in this structure. So that is that is that's going to be that. Um, we're gonna move on to the Very next cool. item here. If you, I don't know what they look like, I'll probably show a picture of it on this on the screen for you guys. But I have we I don't know how to show it in here. We're gonna talk about pottery sherds now. Oh, how are they getting over here? And how are they seeing us? Uh, I don't know how they're seeing us, but they can drop over. Pottery shards. What does it do? Giving all of these to you because I have two of each. So these are these are little things. These little pottery shards. These have pictures on them, and can they have twenty types total? Uh, these are just wow, these are lot. just like eight of them, uh, and they can uh, be found distributed between the five archaeology sites. So those are like the structures I listed, like the ones I listed uh -huh. before, like the like the cold ocean ruin, trail ruins, 
desert temples, stuff like that. Aspiscus. And so these can be used to create uh, decorated pots. So if you come over to the crafting table here, pottery shards, yeah. use these pottery shards, just put them in the four cardinal directions and you can make up decorated pots. So I made this one. Oh, oh. sorry, we're gonna be eating the advancements. But yeah, you can place them down. Look at the one I made. And so each side will show the picture that of the oh. one that you used. You can also just use brick to make it. So what I'm gonna do, you can make you can use brick to make just a regular pot that's undecorated. If you you know if you can make a flower pot and then use you know it's the same oh. thing as a flower pot but the one above it. But what you can also do is I'm just gonna use two bricks and then I'm gonna use the other two ones that I have. You can leave gaps in it like this. So the ones that are use that have brick don't have any picture, and the ones that you use the sherds for do have pictures oh, so you can make cool. different pots and stuff like that and so yeah you, so you can use brick items in the crafting recipe instead of pottery shards but we'll show the pic will not show the pictures or the glyphs on sides only break these pots with your hands to keep them intact if you break them with any tools or anything they will shatter and you will get i think the shards back but i'm not sure if you'll get any brick um so yeah cool stuff right very cool it's a little bit more of an informal showcase here, but next thing we're going to be going over is chiseled bookshelves. So if we go to the crafting table here, do um the uh, you know how you would you know how you would uh craft a bookshelf, right? Sure. You just put so yes. you, you put them you put the slabs in the middle, and then the the planks on top and bottom, and you get a chiseled bookshelf. So we can place those right here, like that. And I'll just place another one. So these chiseled bookshelves, these are crafted with six planks and three wooden slabs. Uh, I think of any wood type. These can store books, books with quills, and written books, and enchanted books. So Ooh. they can hold with six books each. I'll give us some books like that. And you, so you click on the specific slot in there to choose which one. Right? Oh, that's cute. So I can do these two like that. That's cool. Oh, and you can click it back. Oh, that's cool. This is an enchanted book. I don't even know what it has on it. This is an enchanted book. Let's see if it glows. Oh, it doesn't. But we could just if, have an enchanted bookshelf that we know has like. Yeah, I, think, I thought there was supposed to be a way that you could like tell which one was which. Yeah, you might have to. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly, um, but this one's the enchant- I thought it would glow, you know, but it doesn't, right? Yeah, it doesn't. Oops. That's neat. We can use that as a decoration in our house instead. Yeah, so I definitely plan to, like, store some of- we can store our enchanted books there now if we want to, but I don't know, if you can't see which one is which, it probably is less efficient than putting them in a chest. I don't know. But I think they're cool, though, for some- if you want to actually write some books and stuff, you know what I mean? Next thing we're going to go over is the hanging signs. So go to the crafting table here. We need, these are more involved versions of normal signs. So crafted with two chains and six strip, strip logs. And you do this, you have to use strip logs and you do the two chains on the top and the right and left corners. And then you do like a, you know, then you do the six and underneath, see that? Yes, I got it. And you will see six you each each craft makes six hanging signs, so they can be hung underneath blocks like this. Oh, uh, wait, maybe they can't do it with uh, we can't do it with those here. Let me get a uh, one of these up. Let's do this like right here. Look at that. Mm. You can hang them on the sides as well, on the sides of ones. So yeah, they can be hung underneath a block, attached to the solid side of a block, or attached to other hanging signs. So like this, if I can, I can extend it further. Oh whoa, that's cool. Oh, I can hang it on the tree. Ooh. Yeah, you can do it underneath too. Isn't that kind of neat? Yeah. So I'm really excited about these. I think these will be cool to like. I want to put these in like the mine shaft. Yeah. And I like the train station. I think it'll look good like that. You know. Oh, you can actually angle them. Oh. oh. I didn't know you could do that. 
And there's, so these cannot be placed on the ground. That's the whole point of these things. Like normal signs can be placed on the ground, but these can't. There are also some changes done to signs in general. So regular signs can now be edited after being placed. So you don't know, you no longer have to destroy the sign to change what's written on it and replace oh, it. You know yeah. what I mean? And also, mm -hmm. all signs can now have text written on both sides of the sign. Oh. So you can write different text on both sides. Very cool. So that's pretty neat. Let's get into a new wood set that was and that was added to the game. Yeah. Go to the crafting table and fill that sucker up with this, and you get oh. a block of bamboo. Look Whoa. at that! Whoa! Isn't that cool? It's like a watermelon. Yeah. So you can now make blocks of bamboo. There's now the bamboo wood set. So starting with a block of bamboo, which can be crafted with nine bamboo, you can also strip this with an axe like you can other logs like this and it makes Ooh. it that color so that's pretty neat you know there's like there's it for comparison i like another one and then when turned into planks when you when you turn this into planks you only get two planks instead of the usual four from normal other types of woods oh really um so yeah that's another little fact um unfortunately um but I will show all the, I will now display all of the bamboo wood items that you can create. Block of bamboo, this one is stripped. This one is the planks, see? These are the planks mm -hmm. you get. And this one is called the mosaic, the bamboo mosaic. Oh, that's cool. Bamboo and mosaic planks, which are crafted by taking two slabs like this. Taking two of these slabs and you put them on a crafting table, one just above each other, and you get this mosaic oh. one that's kind of uh, cool. And here's stairs, cool. here's the mosaic stairs, and here are the mosaic planks, or uh, slabs, sorry. So you get all those with that, and there's more. Here you go. You want some fence posts? We got them. Ooh. There you go. The bamboo fence post and fence gate right here pretty cool i always get excited for these but here's the bamboo door i really like the bamboo door see that we have the bamboo trap door of course bamboo pressure plate we can put in front of the door bamboo pressure plates of course and bamboo buttons doesn't look anything too special but yes Bamboo signs. I like it. I like the color. I think it's cool. I'll be right back. And of course the bamboo hanging signs as well. I'll replace my uh I'll replace my hello one with the spruce. I shall put it over here. There we go. There you go. So all the bamboo stuff and there and there's a couple more that are actually a little bit kind of changed. Instead of bamboo boats, we get bamboo rafts. Whoa! You can stand on it. <laughs> and the same thing goes with the chest variant as well. Chest is on top instead of in the boat. Oh. So, there you go. That's cool. But it works in the same way? Yeah, it works in the same way. It just It's themed to look like a raft because that's kind of what it would do. Yeah. Which I think is really, really neat. So, here we go. We have all of these. All of these wooden, uh, you know, there you got the planks, the, the logs, or the really the bamboo blocks, stripped ones. We got the planks, mosaic, new one. You craft two slabs on top of each other, two of these slabs on top of each other in a crafting table or in a crafting inventory to get this. You, uh, you, the mosaic can also be transferred over to the stairs like this, comparison, and then for it's a slab. Got fences, signs, fence gates, buttons, pressure plates, doors. The doors look really cool trap doors, and the raft. Oh. <laughs> now, the, the second set of wood is going to be the cherry wood set. So we're just going to do the same deal with this. Check this out. We got a cherry sapling here. Look at that. Pretty. Very pretty. Very pretty. This is going to be the cherry wood set. But first, I'm going to show the sapling, and it grows and going into a tree. Oh. oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. That's a lot. Pretty. Look, and it rains down the petals. Yeah. 
That's so pretty. Mm -hmm. No, uh, this is really cool. I actually kind of want to keep it here. But as you can see, this is a big, it's a big tree. And also, also I used a lot of bone meal on it. So maybe, I'm not sure if most of the trees are going to be this big. But these are pretty big trees. Like, mm -hmm. seriously. Very wide. Yeah, they're wide. I didn't expect them to be this wide. Makes a different sound. It does a little bit, huh? It does sound like petals. These saplings can also be put in flower pots, of course, and stuff, so that'll be good too. Here are the here are the leaves. I'm gonna start off with the leaves here. There you go. There's the petal leaves. The cherry leaves. Mm. Alright, we're gonna talk about this. We're gonna talk about the cherry logs. Now I really like these logs. These look really cool. Here's the cherry wood, right? Remember how you can just make wood, just the bark basically? So that's what it look, would look like there. This is a stripped cherry log. I'll put the stripped one actually next to it and then I'll do this on top. See that? It looks like if you strip yes. it. Uh, stripped, cool. stripped cherry wood next to that. Mm. The planks, this is what the planks will look like. Very not, not my favorite, honestly. Really? No, I don't know. It's not my favorite. No, you're um, just not a pink guy. That's who. Here's a stairs and slab. So there you go. Those are all those things respectively. We'll get into the next row. We got more of these. Yes. Yes, Sirski. Mm. There you go. Fences and fence gates. Doors. I like this. It's cute. Pressure plate. Big Hello Kitty vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Button. <laughs> Trap door. We got we have a we have signs that you can put. Here. We also have the hanging signs, of course. I'll replace the uh, the birch one with it. There you go. Hanging oh, signs yeah. up there. And then the boats. So there you go. Cute. I love it. You love it? Yeah. You don't like the... Do you like, like, the the wood itself? I like the, the bark. The bark is... I like the darker yeah. purple. I, th I know. I, I can, yeah, that, that checks out for you. I can I can definitely see myself using that. Like, or like the like the bark. Like, the wood especially, or the logs. I think that'd be good. Yeah. And also, the stripped ones don't look too bad either. But, like, the, the planks are just a little bit too light for me. But I think the, the doors are pretty. I like the pattern on the doors. Um, but yeah, there's that. So the same deal with the, I, I like the bamboo ones a little bit more. I can see myself using that more in like the places we are, you know, we go to. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We can make a cherry grove house at some point. That'd be cool. I'd like that. All right, let's move on to the next item. Okay. All right, everyone, bear with us. This is going to be a little complicated. So hope you guys are ready to listen up. Okay, we are going to be going over the smithing changes, um, and these are, it might be a little bit of a handful, so mm. make sure your ears are, your ears are perked. First thing we got to do is get out a smithing table, so let's get out a smithing table here. I'm going to put it right on here, right on these. As you can see, things look a little bit different. I'm not sure how much you've used a smithing table before, Cassie. Do you recognize, do you, have you used this I before? I recognize it, I haven't used it. Okay, so... Well, the point is we're not supposed to recognize it anymore because it's different now. But yeah, yeah. So it's redesigned into a workstation uh, for equipment upgrades and modifications, which is basically what it was before. But um, alongside the normal slots, there is now a slot for an item type called a smithing template. As you can see, it says add smithing template over it, right? So smithing templates define what type of upgrade you'll be making to an item. Yeah, so there are currently two types, armor trim, uh, templates which are new and then the netherite upgrade uh, templates which is what we were able to use these smithing tables for before so when you put a template in do you do lose the template when you're using one to upgrade a uh, netherite thing or trim an armor piece so you do lose the template when you use it um so uh, and you know i'll show a template here template here's what they look like this this is for the netherite one um so you can put this in here right so you, if you if you do this in there and, and you actually end up like you know upgrading something, you do lose the template. So how do you obtain these more easily then, right? You can craft a copy 
of a smithing template in a crafting table. So what you use is you can, uh, I'm just gonna show it here. It's not really that important for you to see it, Cassie. So I'll just do this here. Oh, nether rack. Okay, it's telling me nether rack. Okay, well this is how you would do it, guys. Sorry. So if I want to do this one, you have to do. It says netherite ingot. So I don't, I don't know how you would figure this out, um, or unless this is just wrong. But um, there's that, everyone. If you wanted to, if you wanted to see that. So what you do if if you use seven diamonds, the template, and then whatever, the, and then the and then one piece of the ingredient of what the template's made out of, which in this case it's nether rack. You you can craft two copies of this thing so you can get one back if that makes sense so you can make multiples you can make copies by using if you have some diamonds on hand and some of and the material which is made out of which is in this case is nether rack which is very cheap because nether rack is basically what the nether is made out of so that's pretty good these things Where you, need, can we find you need to find these smithing templates if you want to upgrade stuff to nether right now um so good news uh well for everyone not i'm not sure not so good news for us actually unfortunately netherite upgrade templates can now be found randomly in all bastion remnants now unfortunately since we've already explored all of our bastion remnants i don't think we're going to be finding any of these we can find more we can probably find new ones but i'm not sure how many we'll find but we can find these in bastion remnants now these ones specifically all right so now let's go over the armor trims this is going to be extensive so bear with us here so let's see, uh, you can now visually customize your armor with a variety of unique trims using a smithing table. So what's right here. These things are gonna be purely, all right, these things are gonna be purely visual uh, and have no gameplay benefits. Although I thought they, when I was looking at the titles of them, I thought they were gonna have them because they had some cool looking names. Um, but yeah, so before we get into the patterns, uh, because there's a lot, um, there are also a lot of colors we can use for the trims, which is really exciting. Um, so Cassie, I'm going to ask you to pick a material and I'm going to pick a material as well. Um, so Cassie, your choices, actually, I'll just put them out here. Oh. These correspond to the different colors we can use for our trimmings. And we have a lot of, we have a lot of options here. So we have copper, iron, gold, lapis, emerald, diamonds, uh, amethyst, quartz, and redstone. And we can also use netherite, but I didn't have enough slots to put that out there. So we're not going to use that. So Cassie, you just pick one of these. Whichever one you mm, want. I'll pick after you pick. Uh, I don't know which one I want. Oh, you pick emerald? Ooh, very nice. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh -huh. So we have emerald. Okay, so we're gonna you're gonna keep you're gonna keep that. I'm actually gonna Okay, cool. You can here, give me the emerald. Awesome. So I'm gonna try and explain how to do this. So what you would do is if I if I was to do this right, guys, I'm gonna do We're gonna go through all the armor trims and we're gonna use our the colors that we chose for each one okay cassie okay um but i'm gonna go through all the armor trims now i'm just gonna start with um i'm gonna start with this one so i'm gonna start with this one called the wayfinder the wayfinder one so i'm just gonna show you guys how to do this you go to a smithing table you take this smithing template right for the wayfinder trim armor that's what this one is called put that in there then you take in your piece of armor that you want to trim for example i could take this diamond chest plate and then you take in your then you take in your material of choice, which will be used for the color. So Cass is using emerald like this, right, and I'm using redstone. You can see it a little bit easier. There it is. See, it's trimmed right there. And then you can take that out of here, it's, and it tells you what it is: redstone material. And here is this first one. These are just for show, but here you go. I'm gonna put mine on, and look at that. Cassie's got the oh. iron chest plate with the <laughs> emerald trimming. Cool. So this is the Wayfinder one. Um, also, I should preface this before. We're going to go through all of them now. This is the Wayfinder one. Um, so these first four are, can, be in, can be found in the Trail Ruins, which is that new structure, buried structure that I was talking about that I couldn't spawn. And the next one you can find in the Trail Ruins is the Razor one, which we'll get to. Cool. Oh. They look the same. Yeah, it looks a little different. The next one that can be found in the Trail Ruins is the Shaper. So that's what this one looks like. Uh, it doesn't look like anything too special. This one, the last one that can be found in the Trail Ruins is called the Host one. So here you go. Oh. There's Cassie's. This one is oh, the that's cool. this one is the Sentry one, and this uh, template this this template can be found in Pillager Outposts. Oh. 
Very cool. I like this one. This one is called the Dune one. Oh. These ones can the templates for these ones can be found in desert temples. That checks out. <laughs> I like this. These are getting cooler. This one is called the oh, this is cool. Coast one. This these ones can be found. The templates for these can be found in shipwrecks. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Also, I know we're only showing the temp the chest plates, everyone, but we'll show like a full set of one of these at the end. This one is called the Wild. The Wild mm -hmm. chest plate. So there you go. These ones can be found in jungle temples. Oh. Also, another a little cool thing here is that when you're looking at the icons of these in your inventory, they all look the same. They always have the same they pattern do, on them. Yeah. However, if you mouse over them, you can see which one it has, which template it has on it. This one says Wild Armor Trim, and mine says, yeah, mine says Wild Armor Trim Redstone Material. This one is the Tide. This, hmm. is, this, this is, is the cool Tide too. one. These ones can be found in Ocean Monuments. All right, this next one is the Vex one. Oh. <laughs> Looking like one of those vindicators. Yes, these or one the, the templates for these can be found in the woodland mansions. It's a shame we just Check went to out. one. Yeah. Dang. Ooh yeah, I thought I would like this one. This one's kinda cool. This is the uh this is the Ooh. rib the rib one. Can you guess where this is from? Mm. The desert. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. These these ones the templates for these ones can be found in nether fortresses. Oh, that makes sense. I'm kind of dumb. This one is the snout pattern. Mm. These, the templates yeah. for these ones, where can these ones be found, Cassie? I bet the bastions. Yes, the bastion remnants. Maybe the, uh, maybe the, the brute piglins have been making mm. these. Oh. Oh, this is the eye one. The eye template. Do you know where these can be found? In the end? Mm, the, the strongholds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the stronghold. Oh, I was thinking of those villages, you know, with the... Oh, the end cities? That one's, I think, yeah. coming, that one's coming up uh, soon. Oh, they have their own too. Okay. okay. Yeah. I like this. Yours looks like an emerald is on your chest. Yeah. Because it's green. Hmm. This is the award template. These can be found in ancient cities. And here's another one. This is another one that can also be found in ancient cities. This one is called, oh, this one's called Silence. Ooh. This one is called Silence. Let me see the front of that. Ooh, I like it. Oh, it looks like, it looks like his like rib cage. Oh. It looks like, you know what I mean? Where like the heart thing is inside. That's, that's cool. Ooh. I'm hoping that's I can get one cool. of these. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 looks like we have a, uh, a visitor. Oh. All right, Cassie, this last one right here is called the Spire one. And these ones can be found in the end cities in the end. Oh. So this one's kind of cool, cool, too. Yeah. What do you think, Wandering Trader? So I'm going to use the basic Wayfinder one we had, everyone. So if I was to make a full leather item set like this... I could do something cool like this and uh, have all decked out. Um, so as you guys can see, this is me with a, some leather pants, iron boots, chain mail chest plate, and golden helmet with the Wayfinder, with the Wayfinder template with redstone, all of them. Isn't that cool? So this just shows how there are limitless popular possibilities. You can use different colors, and there are like nine different colors you can use. And you can also mix and match templates on different armor items. So there, you know, there really are like endless possibilities and combinations that you can do with your armor trimmings. Um, you know, the, the tough part is just finding those templates. And unfortunately, in pre-existing worlds before the update, it's going to be kind of hard to find some of these templates. Um, yeah. So once you find one, you better make several copies because... Uh, they're not going to be easy to come by for us, unfortunately. And we are finally, finally done with the armor trimmings. I just wanted to show them all off to all of you because I thought that would have been important. Um, 
but you know i'm sorry if it was a little boring but i wanted it, it'll, it'll it took us a long time to get through all of them but I'll, it'll be rapid fire for you so hopefully it won't be as painful for you guys but i thought it was important to show it because there's a lot of possibilities and that's just we have we didn't even you know we just we only did the chest plates so you know that's uh that's just kind of brushing the surface so um these are all found in their respective chests in these locations except for the trail ruins which are which don't have chests they are found by brushing the sus blocks as i call them you know how there are mob heads cassie uh yeah well the piglin mob head oh. is now in the game and if you put a redstone signal to it yeah. it flaps its ears no i don't like that you don't no, it's creepy. Okay. Uh, but just, that's that's a cool, f fun fact for that. So the piglin mob head is now in the game. So just for a reminder for everyone who doesn't know, I'm not even sure if you know this, Cassie. Uh, mob heads can be acquired th um, through, like, you know, for creepers, zombies, and skeletons, I believe. And also with the skeletons, but you can also get those from just killing them. Um so they will drop their heads uh, if they are if they die to a charged creeper's explosion. And oh. charged creepers are creepers that have been struck by lightning, and they they have like bigger blasts if oh. they go off. So that it, must be hard then. It, yeah, if a creep, I've never had it happen. But if a creep, if a creep, I think actually no, I've had it happen once. It's really funny. But if a creeper gets hit by lightning, they turn into a charged creeper, and when they explode, this explosion is like twice as as like there's like twice as much damage and is like twice as big. Um, and if these mobs get hit, they'll drop their heads. So, and including the piglin, including the piglin one now. Which is now in here. So, um, also playable mob heads. Play we're gonna move on to playable mob sounds. See, remember how note blocks, right? Depending on what block they're placed, it'll play a different note, right? Oops. Right. Um, so if you activate them with with you know with redstone, you can uh, you can do it. And if if you if you place these skeleton, if you place a, a head on a note block, like a skeleton for example, and you hit it. Oh. It makes a sound. It makes the sound that the mob would say. That you know that the mob would make. So for a zombie. Oh. So there you go. Creeper. I don't know what this is gonna do actually, because they're silent. Oh. I don't like that. That's giving me like really that's making me really nervous. I wonder if this one works. Oh it does. It does, wow. It's crazy. Um, I'm away. With a skeleton. <laughs> Piglin. Oh. Uh oh. And then I wonder if we put a Steve head on there. Oh, it does nothing. Damn it. Okay. Well, that one's not even technically in the game, so. Yeah. But there you go. That's pretty cool. The next thing I want to go over is a new behavior of amethyst blocks that is called vibration resonance. Can you hit the. Can you, like, tap this block? No, this one. Oh, maybe not. It doesn't work. Oh. Whoops. Damn it, I don't mean to be getting all these guys, but oh well. Um, so we have the, that of amethyst blocks that allows vibrations from skulk sensors to re-emit through, through said am amethyst block. So I'm not exactly sure what that means, calibrated. Oh, look at that. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, see? It's making some noise now, see? That's cool. Oh. Oh, so it needs to be right next to it. So it, so it does have to be right next to it then. That's weird. I thought it was like... Oh, I thought it... Okay. Cool. I guess that's how it works. And there's also this for some reason, which I've never seen. What does it do? I don't know. It just it says 
a new behavior of amethyst blocks that allows vibrations from spoke sensors to re-emit through said amethyst blocks. So I guess that's why it's making that noise, I guess. I don't know. There we go. We're going to move on to the new mobs section of Yay! this video. So let's get right to it. First up is the sniffer. Mm. Oh, it's oh. bigger than I thought it yeah, would Yeah, me too. But there's the sniffer. Voted winner mob of Minecraft Live 2022. Uh, this is a passive mob that sniffs the air and occasionally digs for seeds. Ooh. Sniffers can only dig grass and dirt-like blocks. So That's might funny. Why might... does it look like Tony? It does not look like Tony. It looks like Tony. I cannot explain it to you. It let's just, see if it we just can, looks like Tony. Let's see if we can get him to dig. But I'm not sure. You gotta give him... You gotta give him plants or something so he digs for seeds. It says, Sniffers can only oh. dig grass and dirt-like blocks. When digging, it will spawn a torch flower. It will either spawn a torch flower seed or a pitcher pod item. Mm. I'm not sure if we're going to get him to do that now, but you can see his snout moving. So Sniffers can be bred using torch flower seeds. Uh, resulting in dropping a sniffer egg. So these things lay eggs. Here, look. And then they're, oh. gonna, they're gonna do this. And then they're going to... Oh! oh. Oh, I got it. Oh, smells interesting. Smells in I got a... Look at this egg. Oh, wait, he's digging! Oh, he's oh. digging. Did you get a torch flower seed? got torch flower seeds. And there's the egg that I got. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, uh... Oh, I'm... oh, do they make... Oh. The sniffer egg, it looks pretty big. Can be found by breeding or brushing suspicious sand. Only in... So, you can find by breeding them like we just did. Or you can get it by uh, brushing suspicious sand that... The suspicious sand only in the warm ocean ruins. Um, so it will hatch after some time, uh, but placing it on a moss block will speed up the process. I think it takes about 10, 10 minutes to spawn. So we can we can do a, we can we can do that here, right? So we'll just do that right here. Put a moss block and we'll place it down. Whoa, that's a big block. That's a big <laughs> egg. Oh wait, it's making the 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 this the, the skeleton sound. All right, let's get rid of that. Torch flowers. So, the torch flower seeds can be planted on farmland and will grow and, and will grow uh, eventually into the torch flowers. So, if we do this, like I we put a. Uh... Right? You can play, plant yours. Planting the past. So, these things will eventually grow. I'm gonna bone meal them. Mmm. And we'll grow. Oh, there you Lovely. go. And you can pick that. If you want to, and you get the torch flower from it, right? And these can also be crafted into orange dye. Do they provide light? The torch flower? I don't think so. Although that sounds <gasps> sounds like it should. But I guess we'll find out when it gets darker, right? Um, but yeah, and also the pitcher plants. I know uh, the, the sniffer didn't drop one, but let's look at the, uh, the pitcher pods. Here's a pitcher pod, Cassie. This one looks a little weird, uh, but I'm going to plant mine right here. Ooh, pitcher pod. These can also be planted on farmland and will grow after five growth stages. Go ahead and plant yours, Cassie. Pitcher pod. So let's, after five growth stages, let's do it. One, two, three, oh, four, five. Whoa. Oh. This reminds me of something. And I can't put, reminds me of something that, remind me of like this, I don't know. Looks like it's like, it looks like a deadly flower kind of. Yeah, no, they can make cyan dye. And I'm not sure how exactly you're supposed to pick it. I'm not exactly, Cassie, can you try and hit it? Oh, there you go. You can get it. Awesome. Cool. There you go. We have it here. The pitcher plant. And you get cyan dye just came up. Okay. 
Awesome. Oh! Oh! What? <gasps> Cracking. Oh, because oh. of the llamas. <laughs> the llamas are disturbing it. But anyway, enough about this. Time for our next mob. This is the camel. Oh, I love camel. Camel, I'm very excited Not about kill this. Him in front of me. These naturally spawn when desert villages generate. Um, and camels can be tempted with cactus. Oh, what just tempted me? I don't know. It's just, I mean, this is like, that's what it's in the patch notes. They just like, like you more? Here, you want to take this, Cassie? He's coming up. Oh, oh. Oh. It's, oh. 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 It's following you now. Camels can be tempted not, with oh. cactus. Cactus. Okay, let me let me do another one. Um, camels can be fed place. and bred by cactuses. Or cacti, rather. Do you want to breed one or nah? Yes. Okay. But you cannot kill it in front of me. Oh, oh. 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 Baby cactus. They did it sitting down. Baby cactus. Oh, look, it's coming. Oh. He wants oh. my cactus. Oh. oh, it's so cute. Very good. Please, please don't kill me. Well, then you just cover your ears or something. Saddles can be put on camels. Oh, great. You saved one, but killed its wife and, and child. And can be Thanks. ridden by two players. Look. You want it? Oh, look at that. So the now... Trader wants camel. So now we can... um. We can uh, we can do this. We can do this. We can make trips together if we want. Yes. Instead of having taken take two separate horses, I wonder how these guys fare in water. Mm. You know, I because you know they, they drink water all the time, so they store water in their yeah. humps. So I don't know, but um, yeah. And you can see, uh, you can't store stuff, you know, in the camels, but you can ride it with two people, and they can, you know, they can walk. Uh, they can walk like this. Um, and you can see they actually have quite a bit of health. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That's, that's their, that's their, that's their little dash. They have a little dash. Okay. Yes. Since camels are tall, most grounded mobs won't be able to reach you when we're riding these. Like most hostile mobs like zombies and stuff, you know what I mean? Um, camels can walk over fences and walls as well. Camels can either walk slowly or sprint quickly. There, there's not really any in between apparently, and they, they, they can do that little that little dash. There you go. Oh, whoa! It's kind of interesting. And that is all for the new items and mobs. Now we are going to explore the new biome that was added to the game. Have to kill the camel. The cherry grove. Oh, I I, I hope uh -huh. that I hope that wandering traders can now spawn on camels. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. It would also make sense. Well, Cassie, what are your thoughts on the update so far? We only have one more thing to do, really, so... I think it's very cool. I think it's, like, you know, pretty simple. Um, nothing nothing too big. Um, but it's definitely... I think there's plenty. Yeah. No, I think there's a lot. I mean, just compared to, like, the size and scale of, like, the caves and cliffs. Um, and... Uh, whatever was the last one. the wild was okay um, oh that's weird I didn't know you could put water in this. but yeah I think uh, some of my favorite things I actually really like these uh, these potted these these these, yeah. these these decorated pots I thought they were gonna look a little different is that right or am I well, I don't know I'm also looking at this through this we can, we can look at this through the other texture pack as well everyone oh all my texture packs are now incompatible that's funny but I'm going to look at through the programmer art texture pack. Although I don't think any of it will look different. Any of the new stuff, at least. Like, the glowstone looks different here. But I don't think any of this will look different. Now, this all still looks, yeah, very new. Um, but, yeah. This all this all looks great. Yeah, I'm, I usually use... Oh, did it go? Oh. <gasps> Baby sniffer. But yeah, let's get to that. Uh, let's get to that biome, I guess, right? We now have our baby sniffer with us. Oh, so yes, we're leaving this world, right? Yes, we're gonna leave this world. So we'll see you in a minute, everyone. All right, everyone. I guess you can join now if you want to. Uh, we are going to the world now. I up. I created a single biome 
a setting world in my in single player and I uploaded it to the realm here and I made it the whole world a cherry grove so we can really immerse ourselves into this oh. biome here whoa. we go whoa it's like whoa this is like that time where you made like the whole place the the deep dark yeah also oh I forgot to wow. I forgot to talk about these I'm sorry you can also get these. These are the, the, little flowers. the pink petals, and you can place them on here, right? You can place up to oh, four on cute. one block. Look, you can place up to four on one grass block. So there's one. Oh, two, really? Oh, that's three, cute. Four. And then if you bone meal them, you get more off of it that you can put other places, but I don't have bone meal. So, yeah, here they are, guys. This is beautiful. I'm not a huge fan of the wood type, except for like the logs. You got the new music, too. But, um,. I am going to, I do like the logs and I do like the biome itself. The biome itself looks very pretty. You can see the particles falling. I know, pink. it's so nice. I love it. Pink particles fall from these cherry leaves. Very immersive. It's very cool. Um, so this biome can be found in the mountains in similar places as, as meadows. So... It kind of can spawn where meadows would spawn sometimes. Okay, <laughs> which is why we kept getting that bug. Yeah. You ever wanted to know if the whole world looked like a cherry grove? Well, here mm, it is. Now I know. Oh. See some across the way there, everyone. Looks very good. You can see the. This petals. is so pretty. I definitely love to live in like a biome like this. Yeah, we can maybe we can do that in season four or whatever. <laughs> no, it would drive you crazy. You don't like the wood. I like the wood. I like the wood. I don't like the planks. Yeah. So what are you gonna make your house out of? You don't have to make it out of this. Oh, are you making it some right now? Here, let me give him a little home. Oh. <laughs> oh. I thought I heard a zombie. And then I saw the blue and for some reason I just thought it was a waterfall. Yes, do you want to make a little house real quick, Cassie? Is that what you're doing? Yep. Making yep. a house around him? Well, no, not around this giant ass man. Well, that's what you're doing right now. Well, that wasn't the goal. You put him in my house. For some reason, I can't place blocks. His ass is too large. <laughs> All right. Literally, it's pushing me off of my house. He's got some sort of, like, caboose. Yeah, you do want to just make this taller? Yeah, I was just building out the house. I'm in creative. I can just put as many as I want. I don't know, but that's not very authentic. Well, are we going for authenticity? We're not... <laughs> I don't know. These cherries are cherry. Do you want just cherry everything? Like this? Yeah, that's what I'm working on. Check that. Yeah, boy. much wood from these trees i know makes a slightly different sound when you place them does it yeah. i didn't know this i think it sounds a little different i think yeah oh 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 no baby what why are they coming why is what coming zombies i didn't spawn those i don't know where they came from they're 
coming for me. I know. Can you get rid of them? Mm. Boom. Yeah, I can get rid of them. No, it's okay. I'll... Uh... Give yourself a diamond sword. Oh, well, yeah. Thank you. Come on. Oh, hey, you built the house. Look at that. <laughs> Why is he still here? Oh, wait, I don't want that. Who's here? Who's here? I don't know who's here, Drew. <laughs> You know, it's it's been it's weird. because like I, it's been a long time since I've done anything and like like actually in creative. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think I've ever done something in creative. Well, this is that. I mean, creative mode is how you do like you know these really involved builds because you don't have to farm for ingredients. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know if this isn't really a good. This is route. a friendly giant. Yeah, he's a friendly giant. They they can't, it can't move. It's not actually like like it doesn't actually have AI. No, we need we need nice windows, baby. Because it's such a pretty view. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, these cherries are cherry. Oh, you know what? I can. I can make it a step further here. Hold on a sec. this how's that look yes that looks nice doesn't it remind you of your uh your uh oh thanks um your warped forest kind of stuff how the the dark blocks yeah it does the crimson yeah do you want something on the back like a window on the back or something or just like this? Uh, yeah, we on the back so we can look at Mr. Giant. <clears throat> Looks so pretty. Let me put the stripped ones under here, like this. See that? We can put the stripped logs under here like this. So lanterns. Yeah, I thought they'd go pretty with the pink. And then what we can do is we can do... I don't know, we can do... Some stripped cherry wood right here. Like doing like that on the bottom here. And maybe we can do them at the top too, like this. do something like I don't know I'm just kind of making all this up on the spot like <laughs> this put some torches for some light you put some yeah there you go put a You wanted something else? Oh, look yeah. at that! That's cute. Pick up a lot of saplings. It's out there. I think we can do some cherry wood, like this. Oh, this, and we can do one of these. There we go. Check that. Oh, wait, that looks a little mm. weird. No, like... that's cute. That's cute. Well, let's replace that then. Mm. Oh, wait, no, wait. Can we put the can we put the, the, the flowers in it? Oh, no, we can't. We can't put the yeah, petals. Yeah, you can. 
You can't put the petals in it. Oh. Look at that. We're just making everything cherry. <laughs> I like it. And then we'll, uh, oh, here, we can do, hmm, let's see, uh, what can we do cherry-wise for the flooring? I guess we can just, wait, hold on, maybe I can, hold on a sec, I know, let's do the stripped right here. Cassie, should we have, what should we do for the floor? Oops. Uh, is it not called a boat? What is it called? It's called a boat. I'm asking you a very important question, though. Yeah. Which one of these should be used for the floor? Which one of these? Dark one. Dark one? Or you can do the dark one like this. We're just going to use the wood. Oh, can you? Uh, we're not going to be able to save these these flowers, but I guess they don't really need to be on the inside of the house, do they? Well, I put them there, but... Oh, you did? Well, why didn't you? Why didn't you? Tell <laughs> no, me? it's fine. You should have said then. I don't want wood for the floor. No, it's okay. Oh shit! I have to make them all face the same way too. Whoops. That's what you get. Why is there a giant man? What? What, what giant man? What giant man? <laughs> Check it. And then we'll do this here too. There we go, do right there. Oh. <laughs> Even this sounds different. And here we go, guys. Here's our short little build we did on a uh on a, uh, like a house. Oh, you know what? I don't also know what else to, to top it off with. Here, we'll do this right here to top it off. <laughs> Perfect. So, check it. Look at the. Oh, yes. Perfect, Cassie. See? I need to get more fences. Oh, we also need to listen to the new disc. Oh, yeah. You getting more fences? Yeah. Here, let me just do it here. No, stop cheating your way through everything. No, they're, they're, the fences are annoying to make. No, I'm making them already, though. Okay. Do you want him in the no, fence? No, don't. He's, he's sitting in our yard. Oh, do you want him in the fence? Yes, he's oh. our pet. Why does he make the sound that a, a person would make if they got hit? <laughs> How far are you putting this out to? This big ass. Don't spend too much time on this. It's gonna go away. I don't mind. Okay. That's cute. Sorry. Look at that. I really like these new... Uh... Ah! No, can you push them in? I cannot. What? No! On the side of it. Oh, does it not work like that? Okay. Oh, uh, well. All right. There you go, guys. This is a little mini build we did. Um, and the last part of the video is we're going to listen to the new the new music tracks that have been added. Um, if you guys care at all. I don't know. 
But yeah, this is a little build we made. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Here, I'll get an aerial view of it, and I'll take this away. Got an aerial view of, aerial view of it right here. Isn't that kind of cute? We'll put some panes in eventually, but you know. I mean, I mean, I mean, we won't actually because it's about to delete. But <laughs> anyway, good door. Good look at that. It said, "Beware of giant zombie." Oh. Um, and we got a little sapling back here. Oh, so it's, it's so cute, Cassie. I like the doors. The doors have a cool like like pattern on them. Yeah, I like them too. And we're gonna listen to the new CD disc, which is called Relic. By Aaron Sheriff. Oh, he's also the one who added the other music, new music tracks into the game as well. We'll be listening to those as well. Um, so, um, here we go. Let's listen to Relic. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Oh. I'm only getting out of one headphone. It's because you're oh. it's directional. Sorry. Hmm. There's Sorry. a real zombie out there. <laughs> yeah. disorienting when you're hearing it out of only one ear. Sounds a little weird. I think he likes it. Who? The giant. see you. Are you behind this big butt? Right here. How'd you hit him? Hey! Dead. Oh, yay! Why is he inside the fence? Spawn him inside a fence. You're sniffing it. Poor man is pale. I don't know where he's supposed to be. Camel. Hurting camel. Camel walks very slowly. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Alright, I'm enjoying the music now more than I was at the beginning. Yeah, the beginning was a little interesting, but yeah, it's I cool. Like it. I mean it's it, cool. it needs to it needs to um is it, is it, oh, the dog is gonna hit it. Oh we can't oh, damage the it. Outside, baby. The dog can't damage it. Oh we can. Does it just fade out like that? I guess. Okay, I think it, you know, it's, it's, it's supposed to be like a jukebox, so it's, I think it's supposed to be like old-fashioned, it like takes a little bit to start up, you know what I mean, like this, where it's like, dude, I thought that was a creeper, but yeah, okay, cool, um, let's take the time to listen to the other, the other ambient tracks that were added to the game as well, because I always love those, um, so we're gonna leave this world, goodbye, sniffer, 
Sniffer looks happy. Okay. Good night, Sniffer. Good night, Giant. Good night, Sniffer. Good night, Giant. Good night, Camel, wherever the Camel went. You can't ride the Sniffer? No. Oh. But yes. Good night, lovely view. Get out. Okay, three, two, one. Mm, I love this. I love the Sniffers. On the picture? Yeah. Mmm. This is so relaxing. So this new music was added by Aaron Sheriff, I think I'm pronouncing the name correctly. I mean, it's, oh wow, that's a good chord right there. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, I don't know if I'm saying the name correctly, but I mean, obviously, you know, C14 doesn't, C see what 148 does not make music for minecraft anymore he kind of disappeared he kind of left the scene um unfortunately he's the one who made the original soundtrack for minecraft the original you know uh tracks that we play um including sweden so you know that one's you know it all goes back to him but you know the new people who have been working on the soundtracks and this is the first person i've heard of this is the first time i've heard of aaron um but this sounds this sounds amazing um, and so these new tracks were added by Aaron to the Cherry Groves biome, the Desert biome, the Jungles, the Mesas, or I guess now known as the Badlands biome, and the Flower Forests. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you can hear these things. You can hear these things in the jungles, the Cherry Groves, the Deserts, the Mesas, and the Flower Forests. In the jungle yesterday. Mm -hmm. Should we listen to this whole thing? <laughs> Up to you. I'm really... Aren't you gonna get copyright? No. No, I may probably. I don't know. Stop and listen to the next one. Yeah. Let's stop and listen to the next one. This one's a five minute track. Mm. I like how they're all very calm. Yeah, the last one was so beautiful to listen to. Sniffer. I'm excited for the um the the, the bamboo wood type too. And the hanging signs are also really cool. I'm gonna put some I know exactly where I'm gonna put some already. I'm gonna put some in like the mine station and like the, the train station. And maybe like in the mine shaft itself when we get there. So we'll listen to this for a couple minutes. For like another minute. Hmm, this is definitely more ambient. Feels like it's telling a story. Some percussion in here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's called Trails and Tales, by the way, guys. That's what the update's called. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I thought uh, it's not too late to say that. Um, I 
All right, that's enough. Oh. Crescent Dunes. Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. This sounds like desert. Probably to me. is. Oh, maybe these. Oh, maybe it meant respectively these. There's no way this would play anywhere else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. that is but I love it <laughs> I guess it could be jungle too because you know in jungles they you know they start typical you can hear like those those like those xylophones and stuff the yeah inside those mm. that sounds really good move on though <laughs> mm, these are really sounding good mm. Where do you think this is gonna be? I think the the cherry blossom place. Echo in the wind, you know, and like yeah. we see the wind moving the blossoms a lot. It says edit by, you know, Aaron to share groves, deserts, jungles, mesas, and flower fields, which are five biomes it mentioned, but there's only four new tracks. Hmm. So it can't mean it's added to those respectively, because it I don't know. Probably added to all of them? Maybe. <sighs> this one sounds dreamy. Relaxing.
All right, that's enough. Well, it's very nice, and the happy sniffer family in front makes me very happy. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Uh, this won't be out for a little bit on, uh, when I'm talking when I'm talking about right now because just it's just gonna be a little while um, because I'm a little behind on vids right now. But um, you know, I am taking a class now. Just started this week uh, for summer summer semester before I graduate hopefully by the end of the year um and i'm also you know doing some other stuff i'm just a little behind on videos um so yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed this i'm very excited for the bamboo wood set the hanging signs the the uh some of the archaeology stuff i'm really excited for the armor trims they that's a lot to work with that's a so many different variants and combinations you can do with that that's going to be kind of fun um, and, um, also excited for the, 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 what is it called? The, the decorated pots. That sounds, that looks pretty cool too. Um, with the archeology span and the camels. camels. What are the things you're them. looking forward to the most, Cassie? Uh, the cherry blossom biome for sure. Mm -hmm. Don't know if we'll get to see it in real life or like naturally, but Cherry blossom biome. The camels I love a lot. The sniffles, sniffles. Um, the sniffers <laughs> I'm interested in seeing more. Um, they seem very interesting, but also like kind of out of place. They're just there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what purpose they serve, but they're also like and, it's also like not a real thing. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, I, and the same thing with the vex last time, or not the vex, the the, the uh, lays. Egg, yeah, egg lay. Um, is like it's cool but it's like well these aren't real and historically minecraft has been generally very realistic um and like you can create cool things if you want like in creative but yeah. it's always been like very i mean with the exception of zombies and creepers and like the monsters yeah. but you kill the monsters um versus like the sniffer it's like it's adorable i'm very happy to to see them happy um but it is also like what do you do like, why should I be excited about you versus the camel? I'm like, I love camel. I love real life camel. They have big mouths and they're fuzzy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Camels are really But fun. still, it's it's still cool. You know, like a cute mob is a cute mob. Yeah. Um, I, the one thing I'm worried about with this update is that some of these, some of the things that have come out in this update kind of seem like they kind of seem like the, i mean I, and this happens with every update but this update really seems like there are some things that you need to like start a new world to get like yeah like all like the armor trim things like we can't like we've been to like two or three bastion remnants now in another so yeah. how the heck are we gonna and multiple nether fortresses like how the heck are we gonna get templates to upgrade our netherite gear now because we didn't have to before and you know so that's that's going to be kind of a roadblock and i'm not sure exactly what we're going to have to do and i might just i might just end up just like spawning one and we just then we do like you know like the the copy thing you know by using by using our resources like so we'll do that legit but like i might to get the first one we might have to actually spawn one in because we've been traveling quite a few quite a ways in the nether right so it you know the, we would have to we would be we, we would have to find the new a new bastion remnant by luck yeah and and even then there's not a hundred percent guarantee 100 percent guarantee that there'll be one in there yeah so like i'm yeah it's, it's a little interesting to me and also the same thing goes with some of the some of the you know the trim you know the the armor trim places like Mm -hmm. we can find some in you know we can find some in a jungle temple sure but we've already been to a jungle temple so it's not going to be there um so it's and that's also really far away the wood the same thing with the woodland mansion both we found both on the same trip <laughs> i don't think we're going to go back there because it's not going to there's not yeah. going to be one there <laughs> you could try to find a different one so like we're never going to get that we're never going to get that armor trim <laughs> 
um you know if you know if, if in case we wanted to be like you know completionist about it we couldn't although we already got the achievement because i cheated them all in but yeah no mm. sorry i've been ruining our achievement progress it's kind of skewed now but you know and I, it's not it's, okay. it's what you make of it it's whatever i'm not taking it too seriously um yeah I but, don't oh really shoot care, so oops. but yeah okay. um yeah i think it'll be good um I'm excited for everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite part of this update is in the comments below. Um, and let me know your thought of this video. I know I kind of feel like, and Cassie, man, you mentioned this too. I just kind of feel like since we've, since I've made update videos in the past of the, the Minecraft updates, I feel like it's kind of our due diligence. Like, it's kind of like our job now to do it every time a Minecraft yeah, update exactly. comes out. Yeah, exactly. It's a yearly update video. Yes. But it also, I think, also I think sometimes you've done gets one for every single update. It it gets a little tiring sometimes. Yeah, I'm sorry. But also, I've I don't also need been. To be this in depth. I've also been recording a lot today, so. Yeah. I just recorded a. I just recorded a tier list video of me ranking every League of Legends champion because it's kind of like my send off to my like league content, on YouTube. Because I don't record League of Legends content on YouTube anymore, and I don't want to, so there's that. So that's kind of like the last thing. Also, yeah, and I and the I recorded for nearly three hours. I recorded I for like so three for nearly three hours, and yeah, it was it was just me talking about each one, trying to go a little bit in depth into each one, but not being too. But it is there's like over 160 champions in the game now, so. Like, it just took a while, and I was, I ha like, you know, maybe when I was, like, uh, partway through, I was like, oh, God, this is going to be taking, this is going to take a long time, but I'm committed to it now, so i got to finish this. I'm going to definitely split it up into multiple parts for you guys. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, you know, the Tales, the Trails and Tales update, uh, you know, update um, review video on our channel. I, it, just, it just dropped yesterday, right? So... Or at least it did in in the U.S. Yeah, um, the seven. Yeah, so um, hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, if, for us it dropped yesterday. For you, it'll be like a week or two. <laughs> so um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video, and you can also hit the bell to get notified for when I upload next. So okay. thank you guys so much for watching this video, and as always, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.